Hello guys, welcome to another video for the engineer. And before I start today, I'd just like to give you a few information. We are starting OSDB migration training from 15th June. And also we are starting the new batch for BTP administration from 25th of June. Okay, so this will be weekend batch in case anyone is interested. You can just text us or WhatsApp us in our, our contact number. That is 8466 zero. All right, so today now we'll proceed with the today's topic. So I'm just going to show you how you're going to use your uh, recoversys.py. This is nothing but your Python program which you can use to recover your database. So we have multiple way of recovering the HANA database. Either you can use HANA Studio, HANA Cockpit, or you can also use your, uh, you know, the SDB SQL, which is your HANA interactive terminal. So whichever you want to, but today I'm going to discuss on how to use your recover says.py file i mean the program which is existing in your python script so to start with first i'm going to trigger a backup so so i'm just logged into hana studio i just right click here or else you can also take a backup in hana cockpit you can also trigger using hana cockpit and also use the hana sql commands whichever we want to so i'm just going to take my backup here using the system data page in the hana studio and i'll be backing up my system db So I'm just sticking to the default location, but yeah, you're free to change the location in case you want to, because uh, HANA shared, generally we keep the backup location, but in case you have some additional locations or you've created some backup medium where you want to, uh, you know, you want to store the backup, that is also possible. So I triggered the backup here. So ideally it has been, uh, the system DB has been backed up. So now I'm going to do the tenant database backup. Just click on here and just go to the backup and recovery and just go with the backup in and database so as long as i do the is you know as soon as i do the backup for you both system db and tenant db the log backup will start it because this is the new database which i installed to show you it's a demonstration so you have to wait a while till the backup is complete so once the backup is completed then we'll be start using the cdp script <clears throat> the python script okay so always remember if you are logging to your any of your database so you always check the python scripts so this is my host so i'm going to log in here so when i switch to sid adm so this is my sid it's before and here you can just go to cdpy and when you go inside you'll see all the python programs and all the python scripts are there okay so if i want to search it here Just give him the wrong one, just give a second. You can see this file exists here so this is the script which you're going to use for the recovery okay so before that whenever you are going for any upgrade or any recovery so you need to always remember that you have your you know, certain files which you need to the you can say your environment files so those things you need to update first is very important so you need to load this stb setting.sh this is very important and then based on that you need to check uh, till what point of time you want to recover the database so if i want to recover the database first i need to check my backup timing so let me go to the hana studio and here i'll just check the backups so you can directly click on the backup and it will be showing you all the backup here or else i just i'll just check the complete database backup the backup catalog so both the cases i can see the backup even for the system DB and also for the tenant database. All right, so for me, I think better is I'll just go and check the backup catalog. So go to the system information and just run the backup catalog option here. So you can see the backups. So the log backup is also completed. So this is for your system DB. And as I told you, the backup catalog is different for system DB and also for the tenant database. If you want to see the tenant related information here, you can just follow the same step. 
go to the backup catalog and just run it and you can see here the log backups has been started okay so ideally in most of the cases we are going to do the recovery for the tenant database we are not going to do the recovery for the system db okay so in a real time scenario so i'll just quickly show you the commands right now so these are the three commands which you need to remember always load the environment variable file which is your stb settings.sh this is your hana related uh you know setting file so this script you need to load before you go with the recovery assist command so now i'll just check the timelines what we are going to follow here so i'm going to do the recovery until the timestamp because i'm not using point in time recovery here but in case you want to use the point in time recovery you can also use it as your choice Okay, you, if you want to do the recovery using point in time, then you need to specify the uh, log volume path and also the backup ID. Okay, so if you're going with the point in time, in case you should have your backup ID and also you need to check your log backup location. So both things you need to provide. So <clears throat> I'll just share this command in the description. You can refer to the description and there you can directly copy paste the commands. So <clears throat> Now we'll just run this command here and the time I will be checking because for HANA the default time is in UTC, but it's okay. You can just check what's the time you're following and based on that, you can do the upgrades. So now <clears throat> uh, let me just go to the system information in the backup catalog. Okay, so example, I'll be going in with the recovery. So I'm just following the standard timing which is UTC. So till 8.47, so I'll be just recovering the data till 8.42. Uh, so complete data backup is 8.42. So I'll be just providing the backup timing here, which is your, I'm just giving the, the timeline, okay? So this is the time which is the backup has been taken. So I'll just stick to either till 8.45 or something or 8.40, whatever time it is, I'll just stick to that. So here I can just put as 0.8 and this is your example 842 because the backup timing you need to just check ensure your recovery logs are also present because i'm doing for the same database it doesn't matter much but in case you are copying the data from one system and you are doing the recovery in the other system so always ensure that you are uh, also copying the logs and also you are creating the backup catalog that's very important otherwise the recovery will not be successful so now i'll just run this command i'll uh, just I'll use this recovery system py and this is the time which I'm given here. So I'll just keep as say maybe I'll just give 843 or something. So till that point in time, whatever the data is required, it will be going for the recovery. But always ensure in case you are following something that, you know, uh, suppose you want to go with your, uh, you want to go with the recovery, but you need from one source system to another system, you're copying the data. Ensure if you are going for point in time recovery, also copy the log files because it's very important. If you don't do that and if you don't recreate the backup catalog, then your recovery will fail, it will not be successful. All right, so that's how it is. So I need to go one step ahead. So I'll just go inside CD exe and I will be going inside the Python. Well, I can directly type cdpy so it's in the python support so now the thing is my database is running so always ensure that when you're going with the recovery options so always stop your database okay and then you start recovery uh in case you know like you don't need to certainly stop it because uh, even if you are uh, using your database recovery in case you didn't stop it so automatically before the recovery process it will ask you to uh, the database will going down definitely okay so you don't need a certain thing but the ideal practice is Always remember to stop your application, then you go with the recovery options. If you are using HANA Studio or HANA Cockpit, so of course you need your database to be online and then you recover the database and during the recovery process, the database will be restarted. So this is the entire command which I've been given here. So recovery sys.py, this is the command, recover database until stamp, timestamp. And this is today's date and I've given the time as 843 as per the ATC timelines. Okay, so let me mind, I think, okay. Okay, so you can see this is the setting down the database and it is going to do the recovery. So don't, I mean, whenever you are running the commands, so always ensure you include SDB settings as well. 
so otherwise this detect recovers this pui will not respond okay so now you can see one by one the things have been happening and meanwhile the logs have been written in this location which is your backup.log so if you want to just see the trace files you can directly log into the another window and there you can see the re you can read the logs what is happening over there so just <clears throat> let me just go inside i'll just do the cat option here and you can see the backup what has been doing here and so all these things will be done you know because as you remember before you trigger the recovery your uh, set point will be triggered and then the recovery process will start so that's how it is so let me just go back to the first screen here so you can see so now the recovery is completed it means what happened at this moment is i have given the point in time and i've just rec recovered the system db guys if you want to recover the tenant database you need to follow the similar pattern just that the command will be slightly different how are you going to do the recovery because uh you know for when i specify here the recovery the system recover the database here so you can just see here uh, you start the master this is the name server and you can see here the recovery data is successfully completed okay and the end result is it's done so that's how it is this is for the system db and that's the reason if you check inside this trace file you see the backup.log let me check it again and you can see here the recovery data is completed okay and the recovery started here you can just see here this has been used the complete database backup and this is for the system db we have used so it's very important if you want to go with the tenant database you also need to modify the command accordingly in case you want to learn more on the backup side and the, how the backup recovery works how the encrypted backup can be recovered how the backup can be recovered using your i mean if your hana is having access advance and you want to recover the database so all these option cases and also in a recovery a recovery in a replication situation so how to handle all these things those are there in my regular training so if you are interested you can also enroll for our training for basis and hana advanced level 20 okay so that will be helping you definitely and i think this session helps a lot for everyone so if you have any further queries feel free to comment in the second comment in that video description and also you can ask me your queries in case you have any training related concerns do reach out to my team and last but not least don't forget to subscribe our channel because your support is very important for the to upload more, you know, more videos and to give you more knowledge sharing all right and as i uh, before i conclude i just like to highlight that we are also conducting ostb migration and btp administration batches this month in case you are looking for you can join and also we are providing server access at a very effective price so that you can practice everything in the server how i am doing here so if you're looking for server access do reach out to my team as well thank you and have a great day